Hi, my name is Titus Stan. I'm uh, one of the instructors here at the Pharma Medical Science College. Uh, today, we're just going to present to you two of our courses. One is the diploma for the cardiovascular technician of ultrasound. The other one is uh, preparation for the exam board for the cardiac ultrasound. So basically, we're just getting people ready for uh, uh, the job market in Canada. And we just want to make sure that they are up to the Canadian standards. So today we're just going to do a full protocol uh, by the Canadian standards. So basically for the echocardiography we're starting uh, with a uh, parsing long axis view where you can see the left side of the heart and part of the right side of the heart. In this view we can measure the chambers and make sure that uh, nothing is enlarged. Then we can assess the valves. Uh, with echocardiography you have a very clear view of the valves and you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can see the flow of the blood going through the valves. Then from passing long axis view, by the standards we're going to the short axis view where you're basically checking the aortic valve to make sure that it's not uh, a congenital problem, it's normal. Then we have the tricuspid valve, we have the pulmonic valve right there. With the color, we're checking to make sure that the valves are closing and opening well. Then with few measurements, we actually can check the pulmonary pressure. So using the Dopplers, we're always going to be able to take the PA pressure. Or actually, we want to make sure that the lungs have a normal pressure. Then at this level, you can see the mitral valve and Basically, we can measure here even the mitral valve area. So at this point, we can see this orifice here where it's open, then we know yeah. that the mitral valve, it's normal and we don't have any stenosis. Then going further here, we're actually seeing the part of the left ventricle. And based on this picture, we actually assess if the patient has uh, any coronary artery disease or no. Then we're just going to move to what we call apical chambers. And just a little bit towards me. No, just two, and that's it. So here basically we see all four chambers of the heart. And we can assess again the size. We can look at the function of the left ventricle. We always can play a little bit because the ultrasound is very helpful to make you see the heart better. So just changing the color, you're basically trying to have a better assessment of the muscle of the left ventricle. Then we can quantify some of the measurements. So basically here we can measure the volume of the blood being ejected with each beat. Also we can quantify the size of the atriums by volume and by area. Then with the color again, we can check if we have any regurgitation, which means if the valves are closing and are basically closing proper and we don't have any leakage. Uh, then with the Doppler measurements, I'll just give you an example here. With this measurement, we basically know if the heart is relaxing enough to get enough blood in and we can quantify a lot of things. Then here we can see aortic valve opening and again using the color Doppler we're just going to look for any regurgitation then we can do a few measurements to make sure that the patient doesn't have any stenosis. Then going further in apical views we call what we, we open what you call two chambers so basically we're looking the ventricle again Ventricle has 17 segments on the echocardiography, so we want to make sure that all of them, they are well supplied with blood, which means the coronary arteries, they are fully open, and we don't have a major stenosis. Then we're gonna check again for regurgitation, and moving forward, we're just gonna open the three chambers, which again is to check the valves and the, the function of the ventricle. Then we're going to ask the patient to lie down flat, please, face up. And we're just going to look around the heart to make sure that we don't have any fluids. 
or what we call pericardial effusion. So basically it's the same picture we had previously, but it's taken from the uh, xiphoid area. So we just go under the ribs, trying to see if we have any fluid around the heart or what we call pericardial effusion. Also, we can look down on the screen if we're gonna have any pleural effusion, which means you have uh, fluid around the lungs. Then also we're gonna look at the inflow of, of the blood coming to the right side through the inferior vena cava right there. And we can check the hepatic vein right here. And from this point, we have one view left, which is suprasternal view, where basically we're gonna check part of the aorta. We want to make sure the aorta is not enlarged. Also, we want to make sure that the flow leaving the heart is going through to the body and the, the brain. And we can see the flow of the blood going through. Then also we can do measurement with Dopplers again. At the end, we're just gonna revise everything. We're just gonna review and do a few measurements and we're gonna end up doing a full report for the cardiologist. And basically our job is to be part of the team, of the cardiology team to make sure that the patient is doing well. Thank you.